situation here. We have a situation here. We, 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 we have a situation here. So, tempest up. We meet in the exam hall. This situation we are having is indeed a real situation. What's <laughs> number So the library ready right? squad they chop laugh for their or squad they move. Go and ask your grandfather. Interest. In fact, I'll do two things in today's video. I'll talk about the newly released admission forms that is for the 2023-2024 academic year. And I'll react to some trending news on KNUST campus. Let's get right into the video. Hello guys, my name is KB. Please subscribe to SRC TV for amazing news in Ghana, KNUST, and everywhere around the world. Bye. SRC TV. Uye J. Yes, in about two days ago, admission forms for KNUST were released. That was for students who would want to enroll in KNUST for the 2023-2024 academic year. So, i.e. we are looking at students that will be writing their WASI this year. Also, those that have graduated from SHS but are now looking for universities to attend. This is your opportunity, right? So, there is this tweet I will read out, which is actually from KNUST Notice Board. Okay, and I read. So, forms for 2023-2024 academic year are now available at the various post offices or you can purchase the e-voucher is it voucher or voucher no i think voucher e-voucher online by dialing star 447 star 160 ash at 250 cd so that's the price that the forms are going out for and these are for Ghanaian applicants only however the deadline is on 31st October 2023. The deadline is on 21st October 2023. So, hey, if you're a student, probably are writing your WASI this year, and so you would want to actually enroll immediately, your results are out. This is your opportunity to actually pick up some awaiting forms and apply. Also, when you visit the school's website, that is www.knst.edu.gh www.knst.edu.gh You'll be sent to the main website of the school, right? Now, over here, we have news and events. We have announcement. Now, when you go to view or you will see admission of candidates to undergraduate degree programs, right? So you go to read more. So over here, you see a list of you know requirements that you are required to actually meet, right? However, when you scroll to the button, you will see this side that is the download the undergraduate admission requirement. So you click on it. When you click on it over here, you see announcement, right? Download the undergraduate entry requirement and guidelines. So you click on this. Then bam. As you can see, it is loading, right? So this is actually a PDF of the admission requirement. I have actually downloaded this. So I'll talk to you guys about some of the things that this particular document entails, right? Sorry, my network is, you know, misbehaving. Good, good. So this is, it. This is the entry requirement, right? Okay, so these are actually the steps towards downloading the entry requirement. Good. So there are various programs that the school runs, right? Ranging from, um, it has actually been grouped as Group A, where the Group A is the biological, which which consists of the agri, um, natural resource management, nursing, midwifery, etc. Then we also have the physical. I did it to be a mokotoba and I'm with you. I use it. The Akano. 
which has the chemistry, physics, mathematics, uh, computer science, etc. You have the College of Engineering as an engineering program. So you have chemical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, etc. However, when it comes to KNST, we have the Obuasi campus and then we have the main campus. So at the Obuasi campus, there are also some programs that they run over there. How do you such as civil engineering, electrical engineering, geomatic engineering, materials engineering, right? So when you are considering selecting programs, you can also consider the Obuasi campus also. But they end the life on. Right. So I'll actually get a particular time to also discuss about the cutoff point, the various cutoff points, and what you should know, right? It's very, very important. However, there are some guidelines for selecting an undergraduate program, right? So first of all, most first degree programs of study are four years duration. So most of the degrees for the undergraduate level are four years duration. And the minimum requirements, right? At least you need your OAC results, right? So an applicant, so I'm reading from the document that I've been placed at the KNST website. An applicant for admission to a degree program in the university must have credit passes in three WASI core subjects. That is English, Maths and Science. What this means is that, I mean, as an SHS student, your core subjects, right, the, the three topmost, which is the English, Maths and Integrated Science, you should have credit passes in these three which means at least from a1 to c6 you should fall within those ranges which is very very important then furthermore they say that or is equivalent relevant to the chosen program with aggregate 24 or better right so d7 e8 and f9 are not acceptable for admission purposes so jesus as of my life d7 e8 f9 they are not acceptable so please make sure you steady make sure you steady <laughs> if you want to chop love see when you come here you can chop the love it's our girl and you'll be awesome people are even chopping at the at the library i'll do that breakdown right now see the love it did so please steady i beg steady so that you can make it Right. So also there are other requirements also which if you have the GCEs, the general business certificate examination. I mean there are lots. You can check them out right at the knst.edu.gh that the school's website, right? There's also you are going to input when you are applying. If you try to deceive the school, the school is actually going to get it from the original soldier from the tertiary department. And you know when they when they realize that you are actually you know trying to falsify your information that look alike thing we don't do it here <coughs> if you falsify or do any look alike thing charlie they will penalize you for that uh -huh. so i mean there are also i mean a lot of information over there visit the school website to get all this information right so another trending news that is also you know happening on campus so on the 11th of april the KNSS has actually gave an update on the KBN disbursement. When you say KBN, that is Kitsubiran, so it's actually a bursary, a bursary for needy students, right? So they released a letter, and I read, We are pleased to announce that beneficiaries of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology Student Representative Council, Kitsubiran, will receive their financial assistance this week. The Kitsubiran and Sua Fund provides support to students in need including academic support etc so thanks to our advocacy effort we are delighted to announce that all students will be able to write their exams this semester without any difference and i i believe that the um, kbn bursaries are actually out already guys whatever if you've been able to receive yours um leave leave guys if you've been <laughs> guys if you've been able to receive yours Leave a comment at the comment section, right, so that I get to know. Also, there were reported cases of robbery by motorists, right, which is actually rising, which I believe that um, this issue should be tackled head on, right. So this was um, actually a letter released from the medical school just on 15th April, right, for immediate release. On 14th April 2023 at 5.30 a.m., one of our members was robbed by two armed motorcycles while returning from Brady Lecture Hall. The victim is a third-year medical student. 
the executive council would like to express their deepest sympathy to the victim of the robbery. We want to assure all the students that the case has already been reported to the KNST police station for further investigation. So actually, these are efforts taken by the leaders of the Medical Student Association, right? The student leadership. And I think this is a, actually a, a good way to go. However, dear students, please, you see, they always say last minute is dangerous. I know that very soon most of us will be completing our exam. You have to be, be meticulous with regards to wherever you are studying. And look at the time, right? Look at the time. Don't be walking alone. This is actually not the first is um, issue I'm hearing. I mean, there have been other reports I've been hearing about people who motorists holding catalysts, taking people's laptop and the rest. So you guys should actually be meticulous with how you go, walk in groups, and check the time, right? Check because this is very, very important. And I continue the letter. Currently, the victim has no learning materials nor devices to study with. This is a very hard time since preclinicals are in the examination period. Therefore, we urge all the classes and good people of MSA to support with any amount they wish to give to the class welfare head. Let us be each other's keeper and help a friend in need. So the executive council urges all the student body to stay calm, be more security conscious, especially during this examination period. Students are advised to work in pairs or in groups, but of course, stay more vigilant and keeping your items in the safest place of our hands. Do not take dark paths or walk around bushy areas. Students are also cautioned to lock their various rooms when they are inside or out of their hostels. Right, so probably today that's not happened to you, but then it can actually happen to anybody. Right, it can happen to anybody, whether you're a guy or a lady. Once they pull out the cutlass, you run away. Right, and of course, I know there are um, patrol stations, and I know the police do their patrol, but I don't know if they've actually stopped. Dear Mr. Franco Uso, SRC President, if you are watching this video, please don't turn a deaf ear on these issues, right? Reach out to these um, police people. If they are going to do their patrol, please double it or something. We are just in the latter part and anything can happen. Do you get it? Hmm. <laughs> then to my last issue, the squad and the chop the laugh for the library. Hello? Let's watch this video. Actually, actually, this video comes in two modes. We have the front view and the top view, so it's like front elevation, top elevation. Yeah, we have a situation here. We we we, we have a situation here. So tempers are people. Well, they do things so like the library way. I do use quite a chop law for that. Now the guy, you just see the guy they concentrate. Like this be serious, oh. this be serious. Eh? You poor why? Relax, relax. The pressure, the pressure be too much. Eh? Oh, relax. When you are done with the exams, you can go back to the house and chop your lap. Eh? So this video has actually been trending on Twitter and Charlie has been crazy. The numbers is pulling has been crazy. All because this guy, we are wondering, are you sure this guy is like in the moon? So of Charlie, this this epic love, the guy they chop. You are in the I, 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 I want to explain something to you. When you are, are outside of the country, it's so you know gruesome. It's like a glue when it gets stuck to your hands, it will glue some. Yeah. Huh. Charlie, your mouth for relax give you for relax for relax, Charlie. So guys, like I mean to sum everything up, these are some of the things happening on KNST campus. Guys, I intend to bring you more updates. Guys, don't go anywhere. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly hit the subscription button. Bye bye.